Hello Indie Game Fan, here are more upcoming releases to get excited about, so let's begin with Curse of the Sea Rats, a self-styled retroidvania which looks gorgeous, where this new trailer showcases some of the bosses that you will encounter. And along with that comes the news that it got a confirmed release date in April this year, so fingers crossed this turns out well. Surprise! I bet some of you were not expecting to see this game here, but Regency Solitaire 2 is the sequel to a game from 2015 which has been well received, where developer Grey Alien Games specialises in card and solitaire based titles, where it might be more on the casual end of things but is of interest nonetheless. This video is brought to you by Dominate, an in-development PvPvE competitive multiplayer title coming from an indie team who are making their dream game. Most interestingly, this game allows you to contribute to your team whether you're actively seeking out and killing enemy players or if you're just doing regular objectives against AI-controlled enemies, where engaging in these activities contributes to your team's likelihood of success. This has a variety of weapons, abilities and items. We are also able to choose a unique advantage perk for your character at the start of the game, which grants abilities like Stun, which is one area of customization that comes close to a MOBA-like hero. Rounds are only 10 minutes, but the team with the most points at the end of it will win, aiming to go for a short but compelling gameplay loop. This developer has opened up 2,500 alpha spots with exclusive rewards to be earned at this stage, since you will be an early supporter, where you will be able to make your mark on the game by communicating with the developers on new weapons, challenges and features for the game, so if you are keen, check it out via the link in the description below. The developers of this game only released a cinematic trailer and a 6 plus minute long gameplay trailer with commentary, so I'm improvising here by cutting this trailer together, where Shadow Gambit The Cursed Crew is a stealth action title with a pirate theme. Being of interest, since it comes to us from developer Mimimi Games, best known for titles like Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun as well as the western themed Desperados 3. But the developer has a virtual monopoly on this market, but have made excellent games, so of course this is of interest. You play as a crew of cursed pirates on a ghost ship on a mission to seek out the legendary Black Pearls which can be used to revive other members, but in the way are the powerful forces of the supernatural hunting inquisition. These ghost powers look awesome, as does the visual style, where this is releasing later this year and might be one of the best games of the year. Welcome to Atomic Rose Station. The current crew number is zero. Probably you would like to ask why you are alone in here. Believe me, it has nothing to do with what human beings use to call teleportation. Actually, it's intermolecular compression. The moment you decide to blink to your projectile, your intermolecular spaces are crushed, turning you into a ball of super dense matter. Then, you're instantly decompressed to your original volume. But as I said, it's completely safe. Remember, you can trust me. The developer of Project Sphinx did reach out, where I thought that this was a first-person puzzle game that looked interesting, looking like a portal-like experience complete with what seems to be a GLaDOS equivalent. The main mechanic here is teleportation, where I do wonder how they will design puzzles around this mechanic, but it sure looks like a title of interest. Spoiler alert, they all went poof. And you would too, if you used one of these two pads. That's why I conveniently destroyed them for you. You know. Just so that you don't feel tempted. Hey, you shouldn't have been able to get in here. You should definitely turn back if you want me to support you. I gently ask you to stop. I warn you. You are just like them. But luckily, not really like them. We should get to know each other. 
You tell me one thing you like, and I tell you one thing I like. Okay, let me start. I like metal death traps a billion miles from Earth. How convenient, right? <laughs> If you love tower defense games, I'm sure that Frankenstorm TD will be of interest, where you play as a totally innocent and humble scientist who just wants to be left alone to experiment, but unfortunately, an angry mob of peasants is in the way. This is an amazing style tower defense game where it looks like you can construct some pretty elaborate mazes with a wonderful, almost cell shaded art style as well and looks pretty good. In case you missed it, a new SteamWorld game was announced, which is titled SteamWorld Build, a city builder title which is new for this franchise, where I also noted in my reaction video that this is the first 3D SteamWorld title in the series as well. I played the demo of this and was impressed, where City Builder fans will find something to love in this game, which seems to be heavily inspired by the Sierra strategy games of old such as Pharaoh. I know some of you were disappointed since you were expecting SteamWorld Heist 2 or SteamWorld Dig 3, but they did also reveal that there are something like 4 SteamWorld titles in development, so fingers crossed these games are among that number. I just want to give a special mention to Lumen Tail Memories of Tree as well, since it looks like an impressive monster taming RPG which is currently on Kickstarter. Most significantly, this mixes 2D sprites with 3D environments, which is an art style that has worked in the past, looking to be like Pokemon in many ways, although I do hope they have enough new ideas to make it their own. One of the key changes is that the monster capturing takes place in the overworld map, which looks neat, where since I grew up with Pokemon, all monster taming games are of interest, where the best part to me is discovering and looking at all the monster designs which are fairly good in this trailer, where I particularly love the ghost monkey thing. This is already fully funded on Kickstarter, but do hop on over to the campaign page to check out stretch goals and rewards. I have to give props where it's due since this title looks like one of the more interesting indie games that I've ever come across, where in A Rat's Life, The Cat Conspiracy, you play as a rat in first person of all things. The developers do talk about an interconnected map and some RPG-like systems with gear and equipment, as well as learning new rodent skills, so it might have some Metrovina influence as well. 
it is not all cute and cuddly, since the developers do also warn about dismembered rats due to, presumably, the ever-present danger that is the cat, so it might be rather intense in the action segments as well, but it's a unique title worth a mention, although I hope I don't get motion sickness from the first rat perspective. There's quite a curious history with this game since it is based on a physical board game and the developer did release a roguelite RPG in the same universe, but Tainted Grail The Fall of Avalon is a grimdark first-person RPG that sure has Elder Scrolls vibes. We can watch this video for more grimdark titles.